made with love by Clover. Let's bring it back to the kitchen. So whether it's brunch or an early morning breakfast, morning meals always involve dairy. It's a fact. Uh, but if you're like me and you suspect that you have a lactose sensitivity with symptoms like bloating and nausea after consuming dairy, then you'll be happy to know that you can be free with the lactose-free dairy range from Clover Nolak. I love it. Now to show us just how easy it is to make this in your everyday meals, I'm going to be going through some steps with Jamie Lee uh, to help make a spicy delicious omelet with a tzatziki to cool down the spiciness. Jamie, you ready to learn? I am so ready. Teach me, Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that you like an omelet like I do, right? And I, I know that you like to switch it up as well, make it spicy. So I thought, let's bring some ingredients together and see how we can create this magic using something that is so, so incredible and life-changing for people with lactose and, uh, uh, sensitivity. Uh, so let's go through your ingredients. What have yeah, you got? So we have some eggs here. So we're going to be using four eggs. Obviously, it is an omelet. So we're going to we need go. our eggs. Yes. Oopsie, and a, a chip. The trick that I learned is that if you let the shells go in, you use the back of it and just scoop it out. Okay, yes, correct. Yeah? You're doing Did you know well. that? Yeah. Yes, yes. You're doing well, sweetie. You're doing well, sweetie. That's exactly how I would do it too. So cool. So about four eggs. Uh, I find it like a really good omelette. At least like the perfect size for me would be like four eggs. Protein, then, protein, protein, protein galore. all the way. But what I want you to do, and this is something that you're doing quite differently here, is add some baking powder on, in, into that. Okay, so I'll pop all the baking some powder baking powder in it. Do you know why you're adding that? No, but you're, you're adding that so why. that it can aerate uh, the eggs, which is a very important thing, especially for this type of omelette we're making this morning. I love that. It's a nice and fluffy omelette yeah. that we're going to be getting there out of go. there. So we have some paprika as well. Mm -hmm. Some chilies. The chopped chilies there. Because we are going for that spicy, spicy uh, feel for it. And then you're adding some more chili in there. You can never have enough chili. I love that spice. Uh, and fast. then you can add some of your... Uh, spices? Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then some salt. Great. And then I oh. want to see you introduce some pepper into that. Then I see you've got some red peppers. Obviously nicely done there. Do your thing with that. And then you've got some... Spinach. There but you can use go. kale as well, so whatever you, you want. Absolutely. As well. And then we're going to do a half a cup of the clover nola. That's it. That's it. Add that in there. So now with clover nola, you can really enjoy dairy again with the versatile lactose-free range of milk, mass, as well as dairy snack. It's fantastic. And clover nola is pre-treated with the enzyme lactase to break down lactose that actually makes it easier to digest, which is what you want. It's easier to digest and it's also nutrient rich. So you really are getting all of those great things as well. So for this recipe, adding a touch of milk uh, to your omelette helps to give it, you know, a fluffy texture. And with all the spices coming together, that tzatziki that I'm going to make right now as well, as well is going to be uh, made with a no -like dairy snack. It's all going to balance all of that spiciness really beautifully. So what I'm doing here is I've got like some grated cucumbers there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just cut up some of this to get some uh, uh, lime juice going in yeah, there. Yeah, that's just going to add to the, the freshness zest of the omelette. The freshness, yes. And just break it, all that spices that we had. I love Ooh, that. And then some salt going in there. And you're going to throw in some peppers as well as our clover nolek dairy snack. Mm. So I'll do like two uh, spoons of this going Yummy. in there. And there we go, mixing it all up nicely. I do like it fresh and zesty, so you'll see I tend to add more, more. Uh, lime juice than little, you know, than less, because more is, why not? is great. Okay, why so obviously our pan not? is yeah. nice and hot. Mm -hmm. We've sprayed it down and we're going to put our mixture in there. Correct, sir? So get that in the pan. Yes, that's it. That is really the magic moment. That in the, the pan, bottom. but you've got to watch your pan, right? You will have uh, obviously added some How long No, 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 no. Just, just making sure that you're not like losing focus here. Uh, but making sure that you obviously will have sprayed it before so that your omelette doesn't actually stick, stick. onto the pan unless you've got a nice stick pan. Uh, you've got to make sure that you really pay attention to that. Okay, I see so our we red have our red going in, in there. and then our beautiful spinach. spinach. Just adding or some if green. it was kale, that would be going in now. But you said you're not a fan of kale. No, no, no. I love kale. Oh, oh do no. you? Oh, no, 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 I'm no, sorry. No, no. Oh, I love it. Okay. I love it, Jamie. So this is the part that gets quite uh, technical, right? Yes. Uh, but uh, this particular recipe, what we're doing here, this is a great way to show that you can really enjoy dairy again with no lack and uh, all of the taste and none of the symptoms. And if you are the type of person who enjoys their porridge with mass, for example, amazi, you can do that with uh, no lack, uh, with lactose-free mass as well. And I think it's really, really such a great, uh, great alternative 
for people who suspect that they may be uh, sensitive to lacta lactase. Okay, so I'm just trying to get the, the insides just set so mm -hmm. that it can get hard. Yes. And so when I do my flip, you don't want it soggy. No, absolutely not. It reminds me of the uh, omelette challenge omelet we used to do. do but luckily, I don't here. have the pressure of like everyone screaming, You're not "Yep, under take it!" And you're making it with love, right? Yes. You're making it with love because. I'm going to have to eat it. Uh, now, for you at home, go on to our website. It's expressoshow.com to get your hands on this delicious recipe. And if you missed any of the steps involved in making this really delicious yes. spicy omelet, here's a quick recap.